Hi biology students, it's a very rainy Monday morning, but we are starting week seven and we are on the home stretch. It's May, all right? Just wanted to tell you that I'm proud of the work that you've been doing. I enjoy seeing uh, what you guys turn in and looking at all your responses. Um, if you have not caught up yet and you have missing work, I would prioritize my time on missing work before you begin this week's. So let's take a look at what you need to do this week. When you go into biology, you're going to go past the plant unit. We are done with plants. We will not be testing on plants, all right? Uh, we are going to be fitting in our ecology unit here, so you need to go to unit 13. Two things you need to do this week. One is you need to go through the notes. When you click on the notes, it will take you to my Google Slides. There's quite, um, there's a couple videos embedded within the slide presentation, so you need to make sure to take the time to watch those. They're just crash course videos like what we watch in class. This week's assignment will not make sense unless you've gone through the notes. Okay, so it's really important that you read through them. After you've gone through the notes, you're going to be creating a biome food web poster. So first thing you do is you pick a biome listed in the notes. You'll know what they are if you've done the notes reading. The biomes are down here. They're characterized by parts of the world and their climate. All right. So you're going to pick a biome that you're interested in. The choices are here. They're also in the notes. Then instead of doing all the tundras or all the boreal forests, I want you to pick one part of the world that exhibits your chosen biome. So for my example, I chose the desert biome and I specifically selected the Sahara Desert. So I used one location, okay? You're gonna create a food web. We would be doing posters if we were in school, but you're gonna use a Google Doc that shows real species that exist in that area that you've chosen. So you need to research. You need to go and look up what kind of plants and animals live in your area, okay? So I looked up uh, plants in the Sahara Desert and one thing that grows there is olive trees, all right? And then I looked at animal life and it talked about how there's desert snails, which I did not know about. I thought that was cool. So I put a desert snail into my poster. When you create a food web, you want to have these items. You want to have three producers, three herbivores that eat the producers, two secondary consumers that are eating the herbivores, and two tertiary consumers that are eating either the primary or the secondary consumers. It's not going to make sense how to build a food web unless you've gone through your notes. So I want to call your attention to the slides that talk about food chains and food webs. As you can see here, we connect each part of the food web with a line and an arrow. The arrow points towards what's doing the eating. So we're starting here with our producer, which is a plant. This is a sunflower. The grasshopper is eating the sunflower. Okay, so the arrow is pointed at the grasshopper. The mouse is eating the grasshopper. So the arrow is pointing towards the grasshopper. Okay, same thing with the snake. The snake is doing the eating, so I'm pointing towards the snake. So you can see feeding relationships are connected by these lines with arrows. Over here we have a little more complicated um, representation of feeding relationships. This is a food web. So it doesn't matter if you have them all in a line like I started on mine, or if you want to put the different species all around the page, as long as you connect them correctly with lines and arrows, you should be good. Um, let's just look at something. I want to add it while we're here together. Um, let's add a bird. I'm going to do a eagle owl, desert eagle owl. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to insert an image. 
the desert eagle owl. All right, so I'm going to use this picture. I'm going to insert it. I'm going to make it a lot smaller. All right, and if you want to know how to do the arrows, you have to go to Insert, Drawing, New. And then I'm going to use the line with the arrow. So I'll just draw a quick one, save it, close it. And I can adjust this um, if I want to make it a shorter line. I can do that. Um, you know, however you want to do it. If you need to make a curved line, let's just see if we can do that. Insert, drawing. Oh yes, curved connector, or you could do the elbow connector. Here's my curved lines, so I'm going to save and close that. So that would connect to whatever I'm doing next. I would probably do a reptile next, so I go back to my research. Go back to my research and see what kind of reptiles, lizard I would probably choose. Okay, so two things to do. You're going to go through the notes. You're going to make a biome food web poster on a Google Doc, and you're going to share it with me. If you don't want to insert pictures, you can do text boxes that have the name of the species on them. All right, I hope that helped you guys with to, uh, this week's assignment, and I hope you have a really good week. Bye.